<laughs> I also feel like every time I talk to real wine connoisseurs, they're always like, nothing's wrong, everything's right. Yeah, it's whatever yeah. you That's feel. because they're drunk when you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, what does it taste to you? And you're like, apples, is that wrong? They're like, the label says blackberries, but maybe yeah. apples. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is true. I know a wine connoisseur we're going to shoot with really soon. And every time I see him, he's just drunk. But <laughs> I swear to God, but he, uh, <laughs> but he makes us, he makes me drink red with white. What? No, I'm gonna tell this you what. No, no, what? no, he does. This is just an alcoholic. No, <laughs> no, he does. He he knows his shit. And I will tell you, drinking red with white changes everything. Are you saying it's like you're twice as drunk? No, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 twice as drunk. Are you saying white and red in the same? No, one? motherfucker. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I thought that. Was oh what no, you it's meant. two glasses. I thought you were talking like half cap. No, and you, you, what you do is you. You'll you do. Um, you're doing Hennessy and JD basically. No, so you you're drinking the red. The, the red is your wine that you're drinking for the night, right? Yeah. But then you'll when you want to clean your palate, you'll drink the white to refresh it. So then you can taste the red all over again. And the white tastes so much better once you drink the red with it first. I mean once you're drinking the red. I swear to God, this is real shit. I look, look, I'm, trust me. I don't I've gone wine and tasting a lot of times. Like, <laughs> I've been to Malibu. Okay, where have you they gone? Never wi- where have you gone wine that. tasting? Malibu. In Ma- shit. In, I've shit. gone to Malibu. Trash. I've gone to Napa. Trash. I've gone to the Central Coast. Trash. I've gone to Paso Rebels. Italy only. Oh, he went France. France is great too. We talking about fucking uh, hour drive, <laughs> and you missed your stop at Nobu, so you went wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we say France really stupid. I feel like France is such a better way to say France, and we go like France. We're American. <laughs> I know, but I think it's the ugliest way to say. France. Chris, nothing that we do is not the ugliest. <laughs> We travel the world and people just look at us like this the whole day. Like, oh, God, why are you here? <laughs> Every you play that travel, people are just like, we hate Americans. They I don't, don't know why. They don't though. say it. Do you think they, that's true? 100%. Okay. <laughs> Damn. A million percent. I thought you were going to be like, no, we're fascinated. <laughs> no, no, no. I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the first time I came to America, right, they were treating me like royalty. It kind just because of, just cause of a British accent. Just because your accent. It's it crazy. feels like you're royalty because of a British accent. I mean, I, I remember I was speeding. I shouldn't have been speeding, but I was speeding, and police stopped me, and they were like, oh, my God, you was going so fast. should have whipped out my Snapchat. And then I was like, Wait, what oh, sorry. the fuck kind of cop was this? Weird as fuck. <laughs> then I was like, oh, um, I'm so sorry, uh, officer. Like, I'm just getting new to the new side of the road and stuff like that. Like, He was like, oh, wait, you're British? Uh, have a nice day. And I left. And that was it? And I was like, yo, this is amazing. Yeah, never take the accent off. I have a superpower. This feels like a pretty organic way to start talking about black in America versus black in in England or black British in America. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that if you threw on a British accent when you got pulled over that maybe you'd have less of a chance? <laughs> I, I use, uh, I don't, I've, never, I've never had a speeding ticket. I've never had a speeding ticket. I've never had an actual... Ticket for anything except for a fix it ticket, mm. just being like, Hey, your lights are black out, you can't have them blacked out. They fix give it. tickets for that, they used to, but I've never had a speeding ticket. But what I do use is my Chicago ID, and I still have oh. my Chicago driver's license. Now I'm in trouble, mm. uh, <laughs> I still use my Chicago driver's license, and I pull it out, and I'm like, I didn't know I couldn't do that, yeah. And, and then you know, you Chicago, could. and they let me go, no, no, yeah. I feel like everything, every time you are not from somewhere. They kind of want to put on a good appearance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like I do something crazy. God forbid, give, forgive me. When I'm in uh, London, sometimes, and I hate having to use a bathroom when I'm not buying something in the place, right? Mm. So I'll go in there and I'll talk in American accent and ask f- to use the bathroom, and they let me use it every time. Smart. I talk in a British accent. Sorry, customer only. Every time. I like that. Why in London? Why did you put on that other accent that was I not? Really? <laughs> <laughs> because no British people Who? own restaurants in London. <laughs> Who works there? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go real racist with it. I was like, ah, let me, let me no. do a generic kind generic of voice. Where no one knows. Right? This just happened. It's yeah, still yeah, fresh. Yeah. Like, and I so, mean, so I got I got a Spider Man for this wine. Like, no, no, no. Well, first of all, we want to hand it to you. Look, let me tell y'all how. How uh, rich Samsung is, and how much his life is just—I mean, so, they, they they drove me up to your door. No, they, dro- they almost drove him in my house. First of all, <laughs> they could have been with 
Uh, I had to stop his driver. Like, hey, hey, get a little close, motherfucker. Calm down. But uh, I will definitely hand you your wine when it's time. Okay. Because we were cheers and everything. As you brought up, it's an organic conversation into getting to blackness in the UK versus America. I, I was having a convo, sort of, with Damson off um, air. Mm. And um, you, I think I've discussed this before on the actual show, but I'll say mm. it again. For me. Mm. Before. Old mentality, not now. Before. Or still now? Still. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the current mentality, but who knows if it's we'll going to change after this show. <laughs> Maybe. How, how many more episodes? Of I, feel, <laughs> I feel like you'll, you'll, you'll help me figure this out. Or you'll give me cancel. One or the other. I'm I, fine. I, I got you. I got I'm you. fine with either. I got you. I got you. <laughs> um, but for me, as a black man in America, mm. I would always tell people I had a problem mm. with... Um, because we're still current, right? We're still current, still yeah. believe this. Yeah. With black people in the UK, <laughs> in the UK, <laughs> but, referring okay. to themselves as black. So and I'll tell you why. We then? So I'll tell you we? why. I'll tell you why. All right, go, go, go. My problem um, <coughs> came from the word black in, here in America. The reason that we call ourselves black mm. is because we don't truly know where we come from. I appreciate that. So we made up this word to be like, no, nah, y'all gonna stop calling us niggas. Mm. Y'all gonna stop calling us Negroes. Mm. We're referred to as black. Mm. And we all, uh, um, uh, the song goes, I'm black and I'm proud, say it loud. Mm. We all really um, leaned into that and, and, and adopted that word and said, you know yeah. what, this is us now. And it's not that I don't think uh, there is racism in the UK. It's not that I don't good, think that, good, uh, that good. black people in the UK are going through whatever they're going through. I good. know they are. Good. I was just saying that for me, you can pinpoint exactly where you're from. Mm -hmm. And you could be like, I'm African and I'm mm -hmm. from here. Exactly. But so um, are you. Yeah, and 100%. But yeah. I don't know. And I have to yeah. trust the white man for my I'm DNA. I'm giving you a pause. I'm giving you, oh, you I, African. No <laughs> African is that strong to give out a pass. <laughs> Here's my here's my take on it, right? Okay. And I totally see where you're coming from, and I've had this conversation a million I bet you times. Have. It's all about education, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about knowing how the other side is. I appreciate that you say you understand that there's poverty within 100 black black people <laughs> in the UK, <laughs> and and also that the, it's not all tea and crumpets. It's not all. But there are some tea and crumpets. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking <laughs> with you. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know what a crumpet was like until I got to America. Or, or and they were like, do you want some crumpets? I was is like, it Yo, a cookie? Uh, I, 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 know, I still kind of You still don't know, know what a crumpet is? I kind of don't know what it is. You don't want to. I picture it. No, it's, I don't like, <laughs> it's a stereotype, <laughs> goddammit. I don't want to wear Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he got me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> But no, it's a it's a fantastic topic, and I feel like, you know, the more friendships that are made, like me and yourself, is you we're, we're educating each other on our background and and where we come from, and then you realize that we have a million more similarities than differences, and you realize that we're far more stronger through uh, the unification of our cultures rather than our differences. Mm. So no, mm. I I agree I agree with him one hundred percent. But I, you're not black. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I don't like I'm not the person that's gonna tell you you can't call yourself. I don't. Mm, mm, mm. It's not my 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 fight. I don't, mm, mm. I'm just saying my perspective and why I feel that mm, way. Mm. Um, and then I think because um, there's so many racially charged problems within this country our our country was built on racism, mm -hmm. which most countries were, but our country was built on racism. Mm. Um. I know, like, for, it's just different experiences. I know that, like, you can go to the UK and and have a, like, and I myself used to have a white girlfriend. Mm. And uh, I know you can go to the UK and have a full-on white girlfriend and mm. nobody cares. They don't bat an eye, bruh. Oh. But do they care? They care, man. They care. Okay, they there's care certain places. There's certain places that you'll walk to and you'll get the looks, you know. Um, you're right. There has been interracial dating in the UK for a long time. Um, but again, education, you know, when you got rappers like Stormzy, uh, and, and that are breaking records and headlining things like Glastonbury, mm -hmm. people are seeing black people in a different light in the UK. And I feel like they've had those opportunities, um, sooner than uh, American artists uh, out here. Well, no matter mm. what, whatever my struggle, whatever our struggle here is in America, um, it's definitely not to dilute what the struggle is in the UK. And it's mm -hmm. also... Uh, you watch Top Boy? I haven't yet. 
watch Top Boy after this interview, and okay. then you're gonna call me and be like, "Hey, damn, hey. so you black as shit." I'm gonna say, hey, <laughs> "Hey, black man, pick up the phone." Hey, well, I feel like there's a lot of like racism in the UK right now. Yo, it's crazy right now. Yeah, with Brexit and stuff, seems like a racist yeah. movement. Am I wrong? Also, we don't know shit about Brexit. I mean, We've been we trying we, for a while. I mean, I, mean I, I want those prices to of the houses to drop, so this it's not that bad. No, <laughs> play, no, 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 it's horrible. It's horrible because um, but it is based off of, like is that. But that's more of towards foreigners. Do yeah. you feel like Africans feel like foreigners in Ooh. the UK? Because Africans as don't. Much? I've been in a room Africans where Africans don't really fuck guy. with us either. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about that. Oh, because why? We, okay. Someone said this. That this is a when fact. they go to oh. when they go to Africa, they are like get out of here, American nigga. Like, <laughs> like, 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 is that the is that the viable? Okay. I haven't been to Africa yet. But Africans are so Americanized, though. And I've been to Africa where they literally try and put on an American accent. Yeah. So how could they then see you and dislike you? Okay, listen. I'm not, I wasn't even, because I, I can't speak on anyone else's experience. I have mm. myself have not been to Africa yet. So I can't speak on Africans in I'm Africa. talking to the wrong guy right now. Yeah. But wait, wait. <laughs> but, but you are. But I have um, been to the UK and all mm -hmm. over Europe and when I see Africans over there and they, you know, they can tell I'm American. Mm. Uh, they just give me a vibe like, no, nigga. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't fuck with you and you know it. And I'm like, I don't know what I did to you, but fair. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like that could be an insecurity. Not at all. No. Well, you, why you are we think? all saying it? I don't know. That was my question. I <laughs> No, it, it well, is Well, I was true, with you in Europe. I felt like people were pretty nice to you. What? Just, I don't know, but that was in the UK. Africans mm. in Europe. Yeah. Africans in Europe. I felt like when we went to that club that one night, it was like a bunch of African people. Where at? Uh, that second <laughs> night. He's challenging you like crazy. I'm asking Trey which, city, which city we were in. Oh, in Brussels. In Brussels, yeah. I was. I had to Brussels? fucking text the club, and I knew them. And they knew I was on yeah, television yeah, yeah. beforehand. Like, right, right. I still do TV. Like, but you felt just that when you were a regular guy. No, even about. when we walked into mm -hmm. that we club. We were being pretty American, though. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 no. If you want to be <laughs> oh real God. with yourself. Is be, that the Coliseum? <laughs> no, no, if you want to be real with himself, though, when we went to that club, before they found out who I was and who mm -hmm. I was with the night before, they didn't mm -hmm. let us in. They didn't treat us with any respect. Mm -hmm. They kept telling me we couldn't get in. Then finally let us in, had us stand at the bar, and I had to have someone who could translate go over and say hey this is blah 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 and then they accepted it. right right it was more of like a it was a TV full thing process your american thing it's yeah, a yeah. whole thing and the thing about racism racism only divides the people who are being attacked you know they start to create divisions within those communities when really they are all the same it's like i went to I go to Italy or France for Fashion Week and racism and those places are insane. It's mm. like we we tried to go to a club one time and um Oh yeah, that my, second club was racist. My, my fashion too. my fashion agent who is a white lady showed up with a bunch of black guys and it was like 12 a.m. and the bouncers outside were like sorry, you can't come we're closed and then and they were like what? It's it's 12 a.m. the flyer says that it closes at 5 a.m. like everything out there closes at like 5 6 and you're saying it's closed and at I 12 and I hear the music and I can hear the music. <laughs> Yo, he just gives up like giving an explanation. He's issue like you're not getting in cuz you're black. And um and she's like what da da da, da shoves uh, Wait, he um, said that? Straight up. Shoves um one of um an actor that was that was there, a very well-known actor, I won't say who, but shoved him. And then kicked her in the vagina. True story. What the wait, the, fuck? the in Italy. Wait, okay. First of all, I want to say whoever you are that did all of this, I I applaud you. Oh I God. applaud you for being true to who you are. <laughs> yeah. And I've never yeah. look, talk about look, going all the way. <laughs> you gotta be committed. Committed. You gotta be pretty committed <laughs> to look at somebody in the face and say, yeah, I'm not letting you in. Because Yo, do you know how many explanations <laughs> there are after that? You're black. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's insane. And that's Italy, and that's today. And, you know, they try. I mean, in fashion, for instance, they try. Like, I see um, people, like, ethnic models up there at those high-end fashion outlets. I see them. But then it makes you think, wow, these people who are actually racist don't see me as a black man. They see me as damn and idris. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And, mm. that's, and that's the situation that we're facing today. It's like the whole OJ. Right. I was just going to say OJ. <laughs> you know, okay. OJ. You know, but it's like... <laughs> That's not the situation. Um, the reality of the situation is you're instantly reminded when you have your Muhammad Ali moment, when you win that, you know, that, that championship and then boom, you're not allowed in that restaurant. You know, you, mm -hmm. you, you instantly 
are reminded that everywhere you go and then you say subconsciously, I'm just going to keep working harder. I'm just going to keep working harder. How horrible is that? That yeah. you need to keep working harder to become more famous and well-known well known, so you don't have to face stuff like that. My That's question crazy. to you was going to be, do you, when you go through something like that, do you tell yourself that? You say, I'm going to keep working harder? I used to. Or do you, t yeah, yeah, I think it becomes. Because I try to use everything as motivation, but. It comes a time when like when I used to shop. And mm. I would be followed around the store, which still happens. But I used to be followed around the store, mm. and they'd be thinking, like, is he going to steal? What's going on? Where is he going? And then you actually steal and some it, shit? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Got you, nigga. No, no. <laughs> he followed me around the store. You were right all along. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> no. No. And um, I I've also seen you bizarrely be like, watch this. I'll spend a bunch of money in this store. No, I don't no, and I'm no, always what? like, no. Wait, I'm going to spend all, all this money in return. What? Ed. That's what? not helping. When did you ever see me do that? You said you did that once, and I thought it was like ironic. You just said you saw me. <laughs> uh, you told Yo, me the story. Talk about no, so I'm about to say I used to think that when I didn't have a bunch of money. Okay. That's when I would. But now like, you're like fuck. Now that, that I have money, I'm yeah. like I don't give a fuck if you yeah. think I'm gonna steal or not. I'm in here in, in mm. shorts that stink because I won for a whole day and a half and flip flops wow. and I look like shit. Mm. And guess what? I don't care. Yeah. Because I'm here for myself and I'm doing yeah. my shopping. And if you don't want my money, I'm not going to spend my money here. Yeah. yeah. And I think it comes a time where you reach that level where you're mm. like, because, you know, so much of it is that you're outside this box and you're like, how can I get in that box? Yo. And then you realize the only answer is you create your own. Yeah, exactly. You create your own box. You don't care about that fucking box. Mm. And I always would say that. I didn't understand. I, I've never been this guy, but I wouldn't understand the guy, the black guy that's like, I'm going to get in that country club one day. Oh, my Nigga, God. Nigga, you don't even golf. Or, well, well, we do it today. Well, I know. We, we do it today in our industry, in the acting industry, we do it today, you know, instantly trying to find gratification yes. from places where we're obviously not accepted, places that don't want to adopt change. And that's what is happening. You really just need to create your own lane and understand that you're already winning if your mom's proud of you. That's what I always say. Yes. <laughs> so that's well, true. Damn. One day. Damn, son. <laughs> you ever heard that damn? Proud. Look at you. Original, right? Yo, everyone that first meets me. Yeah, you, you, you ever heard that? You damn, heard son. That? I bet I'm the first one to say it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Funny. Should we start the show? Welcome to Wine and Weed. Oh. Now we get to drink the wine. Yeah. The weed, Thank you know? God. It's that, like communion. You got to wait. Oh, <laughs> you got to oh, say it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Welcome to Wine and Weed. Uh, you want to kick it off? You got it. All right. I'm Chris Reinecker, a.k.a. The Connoisseur, a.k.a. Uh, you new baby daddy, a.k.a. Uh, la La La, yeah. a.k.a. Speed Bump, uh -huh. a.k.a. I feel like I got new ones this week and I'm not remembering them. They write these are these are AKs given to us by the people. Oh wow! These are they. I got hit by a car. That's why I'm speed bump. I'm. <laughs> yeah, he, he physically got hit by a car. Like oh he himself. God. Yeah, it was like the day Thank after we did a him. podcast. Yeah. yeah, I went. I was in hey. that parking lot today. Dev. <laughs> Dev. Dev. he's gonna say it's my fault. Dev, it's not my me. fault. It was his fault. <laughs> <laughs> I can promise you. His story is that he stepped in front of the car and told him, "Hey." <laughs> That's, That's the story. I I'm didn't walking step in, I was standing there, and he. Could. <laughs> I went hey, because like when the car is over at the pool heading about, toward you, you don't think it's gonna look, hit you. You didn't yeah, deserve until it. it's like hey, hey well, oh, my. you didn't deserve it nonetheless. You didn't. AKA deserve. the goop in your gap. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to White Weed. Um, is it me? Yeah. You pass it to me then. Shit. Yeah. You and I am uh, Sterling Steel Brim, a.k.a. S to the B to your best to the Bree. A.k.a. Is that a third leg? No, that's just me. A.k.a. <laughs> Mandingo Lover. A.k.a. Black Mama. A.k.a. Concerned Father. A.k.a. Black uh, Brits aren't really black. <laughs> <laughs> that's Damson's A.k.a. Okay. That's, that's uh, am I missing something? I'm missing a whole bunch, right? Yeah, um, you your stylist, stylist, yeah, stylist, stylist, um, and I'm just rolling the weed, y'all. So uh, I'm not even concentrating. So I'll pass it to John Ross, oh. our AKA King. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, John Ross, AKA uh, Spider Man's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh my AKA God. Brown Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> AKA Big Facts. Yeah, AKA boy, the boy. Article Assassin, the Keto King, the Gorilla in Manila, and of course. Big Sexy with the glasses. Big Sexy yeah. with the glasses. And Don't we know. will pass it to our special guest, um, a friend of mine. Uh, you've been hearing him talk this whole time. We have not announced him yet. Um, <laughs> the star of Snowfall, season four, being filmed currently. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. The man himself, Damson Idris. Boom. Woo. Yeah. 
Do you have any AKA? Uh, damn, son, Idris, AKA. Damn, son. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have to. Original. <laughs> A.K.A. Young Sydney Poitier. Ooh, I like hey. A.K.A. Your mama wants my autograph. Ooh, that may be true. Not it's my mom. No, she doesn't no. like drug this. No. <laughs> oh, thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, but that's it. That's all. Yeah, A.K.A. game was trash, damn. I I'm so sorry. We've had people come on here and AK, knock it out the park. I feel yeah. like you got too much personality, too much funniness in you, but you know what? I'm going to let you pass. Oh, thank you very Cause much. Because you need some wine in you first. I do. You that, do. Then I'll it's be just been the sitting real there. me. And you want me to grab it? I got Spider Man's best friend, you're going to web it over to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my, my best friend can do that, right? Oh. And today we're drinking <laughs> Niner Wine Estates from Paso Robles. Man, we, we keep drinking that Paso wine. If, if that one's. Okay, then it's I'll a open Cabernet this Savion <laughs> from 2016. Getting, I'm getting on my sommelier. Ooh, my sommelier nose on right now. It's a bit of grape. Are we, we um are smoking Moscato by oh. High Season. Never heard of them, but wow. we're gonna give them a shout out right now. I High wish season. I smoked weed. Hopefully, this is good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, man. If you smoked weed, you have so much fun on the show. Damn. Yeah, son. Yeah. Next time. Just by uh, playing a drug dealer, you will not be smoking weed with <laughs> no. no. Never get no. high on your own supply, people. I like <laughs> it. Know? I like it. All right, and then we, if you don't know about this show, each week we come on as a topical show. We go into some serious shit. But for the most part, we try to have fun on the show. It's a comedy podcast, first and foremost. So mm-hmm. our man, John Ross over there, who has all the facts, will inform you if you do not know. Mm-hmm. But uh, we try to go through articles and have a little fun and talk some shit. All right. Yeah. And I think you're good at shit talking, man. Boom. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun on the show. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Oh, wow, it's a good stretch, man. Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Oh, John, if you want something, too, I brought four glasses oh. on here. Oh, uh, sure. I'm fine. Why are you guys only allowed to drink at 21? It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, God. It's so stupid. I don't know. Why is, like, so first of all, alcoholics, everybody calm down. Why Why is it so stupid? It's dumb because we're going to do it anyway. Exactly. I didn't drink until I was 24, 25. That's actually true. <laughs> you, same. 24. 21. What was the first drink you had? Um, what, the first drink everybody has? What's Cranberry that? and vodka. You're a vodka guy? Still no, tight. I'm not. Never drank vodka since. It's been like a... I feel like everyone starts with vodka. Yeah, you start yeah. with vodka because you're like, I can... That doesn't feel like crazy. Oh, and then man. I got on tequila. Well, first, then went from vodka. Mm. And we had a season of Hennessy because I was explaining this. <laughs> even when Because <laughs> season. <laughs> All the rappers were saying that, man. I just want to be on. Hey, hey. <laughs> No, it was just more for me. I told Neo this like last week. I said it was just more of a, a, a cultural thing mm. that you lie to yourself and you tell yourself, I like this I'm black. We like Hennessy. Yeah. We all going to drink Hennessy together yeah. in the club. And then if you buy in a bottle, like everybody got to agree on some shit. That's the only time you see niggas agree. It's, when it's like, hey, I'm about to buy a bottle. What y'all want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever you drinking, bro. Yeah, it's, cool. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's up to you. I'm not going to give you any money anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes. So with Hennessy. And now I feel like myself, I've been there for a while, but the world is in a strong tequila mm. place. Now I'm on wine, though. I like wine a lot, man. I can honestly say, right, I've been drinking alcohol since I was about 16. Really? Um, Which is been, okay over there, right? That's, that's well, it's like, 18 is legal, right? Yeah, but, but in, in, the, in your home, though, um, you know, your family might be like, hey, like Christmas or whatever. Who knows, right? But I've been drinking wine since then, only red wine. So really? Only red wine. So then I came to America, right? And I went to the club and my boy Milton, you, you know Milton. Yeah. He's like, yo, what you want? What you want to drink, man? I'm like, let me get a, a red wine, please. He's like, bro, they're playing hardcore hip hop in there. You're yeah. Like, damn red wine. <laughs> and there I am, like in the club, like, say, swirling it away. There's nothing swaggy. Like, I think that's swag. Yeah, there's nothing too. swaggy to be like, I'm oh, having so wine. Swag. Carver only drinks wine. Oh, man. And then, yeah, I will only drink wine sometimes when I'm like out. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to have a month of just wine. Mm. And it makes you feel so much cooler than everybody else. Yo, I did tequila for the, not the first time, but like hard. I, I tried yeah. to keep up on Super Bowl that just passed, right? Didn't make it to towel. Woke up. Like, oh, that was that night in the group chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tequila night. So no more. Tequila yeah, you should for me try it again. again. You can do tequila in Vegas. Uh, I've never been to Vegas. I don't think. Okay. I, <laughs> I don't remember. D- delete, delete. <laughs> We're gonna delete that part. <laughs> uh, and um, speaking of drinking wine. 
come on out to Chicago if you're in the area. We're doing a show this Friday, Valentine's Day. It's a special Valentine's Day show. Do we want to mm-hmm. announce our guests? We're talking not? about love. We're talking about love on the show. No, we don't have to announce our guests yet. We're going to announce it on IG the next day or so. We Getting got some that. great guests. It's going to be super fun. I think I, hopefully there are a few uh, tickets left. Well, hopefully not, maybe. I think it's By sold. the time this comes out. But um, I heard it was sold out. If it's not sold out, I think it's very close to or so. But what we're going to make sure is Valentine's Day, and it's going to be our goal to make sure everybody fuck it by the time you leave. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. We in here for love. So if y'all ain't in there trying to find love or marinate your love or nurture your love, don't show up. But if you're there, uh, we gonna make sure you have a good love. time. And um, <laughs> yeah, single you know, or in a couple, come on out. Yeah, we have so many fun ideas for this show. We do. We we, we have to. Damn. We have to. We have to break some of them down. And we will be playing with y'all relationships, so be strong before y'all get there. <laughs> <laughs> you might leave single. Let's get into the week. Let's get into it, John. Let's start right? yeah. yeah, let's start lighthearted. About, let's uh, light something up. All right. Yeah, and I'm going to go a little man. slower because people said I've been sounding like an auctioneer when I'm reading these articles. That was one person, and I saw it. And was <laughs> I've like, got like three DMs. Hmm. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, okay. like, slow down. All okay, right, got right. it. So, uh, free porn offered to quarantine coronavirus cruise passengers. Adult website Cam Soda's vice president says his company is trying to ease boredom for impacted passengers. The Miami-based porn site that tried to offer complimentary webcams to the Kansas City Chiefs and San Francisco 49ers last month is attempting to ease boredom for passengers stuck aboard Princess Cruises' two quarantined vessels with free webcam sessions. The bold offer was extended via press release from executives and adult website Cam Soda and was directed at 7,300 passengers who have been impacted by the coronavirus outbreak on the Diamond Princess and World Dream cruise ships, which are docked in Japan and outside Hong Kong. Fuck, I didn't know that about the cruise ship. Yo, you want to read up my eulogy? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, so it's it's only been 12 people who have been quarantined? Uh yes, right now in uh, from the actual cruise it doesn't yeah, it doesn't see, it seems like it does say, do- it says a royal uh, oh Caribbean I thought they were saying the whole ship with twelve passengers quarantined over that thing is scary virus. man you know? so scary and when I see someone with a mask on I think they have it like, which is weird I'm like why you got that mask on man <laughs> you don't know if <laughs> they have it keep from the world or they're trying to stop themselves from getting well it. of course they're trying to stop themselves but it just looks crazy like it, it looks does. like so Chernobyl like it does it looks insane are you gonna wear a mask on the flight tomorrow. No. I'm thinking about it. Yo, wear a mask. You when think I fly, people bro. have corona in first class? I'm joking. Oh! <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Stilo bought my outfit. Cut to. Cut to. <laughs> <laughs> Chris that is, is it. like, it was great back there. <laughs> oh, my God. You're like, but I do got free porn, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> It's oh. totally worth it. First well, of all, to offer free porn to people who already have access to free porn is hilarious. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, I actually don't look at that anymore. Who? Any, you know what? I hey, look. At, you don't look at any porn. No, I admire your strength. Really, I quit. This is true. Yeah, yeah. why you, made, you made an active yeah. decision? Yep, yep. Two years sober, man. Two Congrats. years sober. Mm-hmm. Do you wow. ever like one? Like, do you ever like dip back in like once? And Every like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Every now and then, like like something will pop up on like Twitter. Like, Twitter is like, where like, you. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like 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 my my hands like he- like hesitating to keep scrolling. I'm like, ah, 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 does this ah. count? Does Instagram count? Oh my god. Some of that's kind of cool. There's nothing it's, it's on Instagram, but type. Twitter will show you Twitter. full on penetration. Where you're like, I'm like, yeah. what? How is this allowed on here? Like, it's like shit. the devil's chasing me. It really is. <laughs> it really is. But you, you just have to quit, man. Like, I don't know. I'd recommend everyone to. to, to really? Quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why are you. Are well, you, why everybody? I'm sure. It will make your relationship so much better on my perspective. But then I know what I'm saying. Okay, fair enough. I'm not you talking know? to those people. It's a lot of Valentine's Day. We're talking, about, we're talking about good people. We're talking about love. All right, so for me, with a relationship, right, when you watch that, I feel like you put unneeded pressure on your partner to do certain things. That's not, look, that's your fault. Let me, let me, no, let, I, no, no, let me jump to the truth. It's true It's your problem and that's your fault <laughs> that you can't separate reality from, <laughs> from acting. If she did it, you going to do it. <laughs> But also, the, it could serve as an inspiration. Mm. You know, what if you watch? Like, oh, I didn't even know you could do that. What honey, you honey, honey guess what I saw outside? today? <laughs> you know, can you watch it with your girl? Is that acceptable? I don't know. I don't know. I've never tried that before. 
I'm with ever with anybody. I've, I've never had sex, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? I did not know that. Look, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll watch porn. I will watch porn with my girl. Secondly, I don't, I don't see a problem. I mean, <coughs> granted, we have uh, uh, my <laughs> my friend, a, a porn star, <coughs> Nikki Ben. She'll be on the show, I think, in next week. <coughs> next week, two mm, weeks. Mm. Next week is Valentine's Day. Next week we're airing the live show. Yeah, gotcha. Mm. Two weeks. Uh, <laughs> she'll be on the show in two weeks. Um, and I don't know. I feel like there's a there's a need somewhat, mm. like um, for porn. I'm not even just talking about for. What's the world without porn? It's a lot more rape. Oh my! You think so? I don't know. I think there's a I lot more sexually should, I don't think frustrated we should risk people it. out there. Mm. I don't no? think we should risk it. Yeah, I think mm. that porn is fine. Mm. I don't think it's bothering anyone. I think you can just have my business. So I think <laughs> 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 Wait, so are you still masturbating? You just use your imagination. No, not none you of that. You just don't. Oh, you cut off everything. Wow. No, no, no. It's, it's kind of just a brag about cold how much sex turkey. You had. Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> just celebrate. That's what it is. I knew that was coming. No, I don't know, man. You know, it's interesting because I started right, and then I was just like, man, like I, I thought about how I felt after I was finished and stuff like that, and like you shamefully close the laptop, <laughs> like like you wash your That's hands immediately, <laughs> like <laughs> you're just like I'm so dirty. Oh my god! It's like Dave Chappelle when he was saying, "There's nothing more threatening than a guy who just like." <laughs> Him on his belly button. Like, <laughs> it's, like, it's that same kind of feeling for me. So I was just like, man, do I really need this? And then boom, everything started changing. My relationship got better. Sex life got better. So, but like really? for me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to a movie and see some shit in an action movie and be like, that needs to happen right now. I'm gonna go outside and shoot a motherfucker and see what happens. So I just like. But you're I'm not. You're is, not let down. You don't, like like it, like you're not let down. Like when you have all this stuff in your head, and you're, oh, you're imagining. How you're like, deep down this rabbit hole are you going? No, no, no. <laughs> no I understand. What, I understand what you're saying. All this so stuff. the coronavirus is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the, I'm not let down because I don't have those expectations. I don't. Okay. I don't watch porn. I watch porn to escape. I watch porn to, wow. to go on uh, a quick vacation. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> Weed does that too, I guess. <laughs> no, I, I don't like legitimately watch porn because I'm just like, uh, mm. my girl's out of town. Yeah. Well, my girl's gone. Okay, I, I, I hear that. Okay. What, like, what am I going to do? I want to I want to go ahead and still be satisfied. So mm, maybe mm. I'm going to just go ahead and watch some porn real quick mm, and mm, then mm. Photoshop my girl's head <laughs> on all their bodies <laughs> oh my Lord. in my head. There's got to be some sort of censorship, though. The reason I stopped is because stuff was popping up that I was just like, wow, like, like this is like if I click this button, I'm that guy. Do you know what I mean? I'm talking about you deep. can't control yourself. <laughs> I'm, t- like, I'm talking about taking levels. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like you said, and then, and, and then there was a stage where, like you, you start going through and you're looking at the thumbnails. You're like, ah, nah, not tonight. It's, it's, oh, like, yeah, it's, you're like, like, it's like you're choosing. It's like you're choosing. You're yeah. like, what am I doing? Like, this what not am even I doing? what I search for I should, no more. I could be reading a book or watching a movie right now. <laughs> oh my god, I could be learning my lines. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> so that that situation. Okay. But um it's but fair. I I'm not I'm not saying everyone should quit, but I'm saying just see if you can consciously see. Oh, let me see how long I can last. So I got I got a hypothetical. Mm. You're on a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> coronavirus is everywhere. You have no, you know, cor- forgive me. You that's horrible. Coronavirus. I take that back. <laughs> you have coronavirus. <laughs> yep. No one and everyone knows. Like, it's like, Yo, all the women know. <laughs> we're gonna give you and porn to watch. Are you gonna be like, I don't watch porn? Or are you gonna say, you know what? <laughs> Where's I'm the Vaseline? <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom is where? <laughs> oh my god! No, no, no! I hear what you're saying. It, try it. Who knows? You know, you don't know. It, yeah. it might make you, you a, know what? a better I'll, person I'll, or a worse. Person. I was on a strike for a little while. See, see what happens. I think it's weird to make a pat with your friend. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Chris, yeah, what yeah. do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. You know, <laughs> I feel like you. I feel like you feel where it's like. No, it's just fun. Mm. But then I also see how that's what alcoholics say about alcohol. Yeah. Before no. they realize. It's what are y'all doing? You have an addiction, deep, deep, Sterling. Deep rabbit hole. No, fam. I think, I think <laughs> that you're the sick motherfuckers. And I'm the normal one. Because what I'm saying is, <laughs> y'all, the way y'all are talking about this shit, 
It, it means that y'all are going so far down the internet. All right, you're vegan. All right, you right, right. Like you're vegan. You're you vegan. You don't like yourself. You're vegan, right? Yes. I'm I just assuming, started. I don't like to even announce it. <laughs> I'm assuming you've seen What the Hell, right? I have not, actually. But something along those lines hit you, sparked that for you. Maybe it's a relationship. Who knows, right? For me, that's the situation with porn. It was... I found out you found how the they what shoot the hell? it. I, fu- I found out how, exactly how they shoot oh, it. Oh, okay. I found out I was how actually much stress the that. woman's under. I found out. Oh, yeah. And okay. Then, well, and don't then, ruin our show for it. I'm, I'm about to ruin it. I'm about to no, destroy she's, it. No, we're going to ask all these questions. Okay, okay. So it's great. No, no, no. We no, no, no but really, actually, I think this is a good conversation to have it? beforehand. It is. Yeah, because it is. I, I wondered these questions, too. And I think, and I was wondering, it's interesting because it takes you out of it, but then mm. If I'm gonna be honest, if I'm looking at porn, if I if I can see that is happening, if yeah. I can see that this person is at work, yeah. and this is not their passion, because somebody's got to be like, this is my fucking passion. You're not really the way married. you love acting. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't that's have any pro- pizza. That's a proper. <laughs> <laughs> this oh guy didn't even bring a pizza. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's those, fake. <laughs> the, those stepchildren aren't related. <laughs> They're the same age. She's far too old to be his daughter. <laughs> No, I mean, <laughs> if I don't buy in to the premise of the board. No, but if I if I can see that, like, the person is mm. really, it's not that they're, like, not enjoying it. Really, it's just that they're, they're no, not enjoying it, but, like, at work. Yeah. Like, okay. if they're, like, hey, we're here to do the thing we do for money. I'm, like, get me out of this. Okay, then my it. question is, do you do the same thing at the strip club? Wait, that's not yes. my, wait, that's not my full question. I do. And then the I've other part of my. Club probably once or twice out here in, in L.A. I, I, I wouldn't have been, 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 been claw strip clubs in London as strip clubs. They, go, they need to be called something else. Like, <laughs> See, LA, I wouldn't even call it <laughs> strip clubs. I came here to experience it. Miami strip like, clubs are good. Okay, I've been. That's where it is the second time. Yeah. So I, I went to a place out here called Ace of Diamonds. And I went to a place in Miami. Cool, yeah, both those. Cool, uh, yeah. Uh, it's a number? Uh, 11. 11, right? So when I, I, I came, I remember just kind of seeing it, music videos, movies, whatever. I was like, I want to experience it. Yeah, Maybe I could apply it to yeah. my art, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. So Study, I go, research. I, I go out there, and and then throughout my time in L.A., you become friends with people, and you're like, oh, what'd you do? And it's like, oh, I, I'm a dancer. And then you hear their perspective of why they're doing it. There's nothing wrong with stripping. Let's put that out there. But there are many cases where people are doing it because it's the last resort and i've got to pay for this surgery i'm out here and i don't even have a passport so what my whole family is in puerto rico and i can't work so this is why i'm doing this those stories are what make me make you throw money (laughs) yeah you make it rain (laughs) for substance (laughs) i make it rain for substance yeah yeah, exactly okay so i went to 11 there was one one um, dark skin girl in there like one dark skin girl on the pole and I was seeing like all these guys like throwing money at all the other like light skin girls that are there. This one dark skin girl was on there. No one's throwing money. I was like, you about to get the whole stack. Yeah. <laughs> it Take it off. Thumped. She yeah, said, like, I don't work here. I didn't even th- <laughs> <laughs> She was like, I'm what, just working. what the fuck? <laughs> he was, oh, but, I thought you was. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, this is no. a great segue to um, this next oh, yes. story. All let's right, do, let's, let's jump into it. And reads, right. Y'all- stripper breaks jaw in brutal fall from top of giant pole. A stripper from Dallas, Texas, was looking to give her audience some extra excitement with a high-flying act. But the Cirque du Soleil thrills she was going for veered into morbid viewing of circus accidents on YouTube. I've been in a strip club, too. Continue. When she took a massive (laughs) fall from the ceiling of her club. The video of the exotic dancer... It is like two stories. Oh, my God. I didn't see the video either. Oh, man. A video of the exotic dancer, Jania Sky, falling hard onto the stage from her... By the way, Sky... By the way, Sky... (laughs) You're Come on. It doesn't get better now. (laughs) Can't write this stuff. (laughs) Sorry. I feel bad. I feel bad. I need to watch this video. Then I could be more sympathetic to this whole scenario. Uh, She fell hard onto the stage from her perch high atop a pole uh, and went viral on Twitter over the weekend. And the footage is brutal. Yeah. Um, Thank God I finished my wine. I probably need a new one off this video. Hell yeah. got you, sir. In case you're wondering if the stripper walked away from the fall okay, uh, sort of. She broke her jaw, chipped multiple teeth, got stitches, and has to have surgery. But she got an Instagram to let everyone know she was fine. I've seen the video, and it looks like I am surprised that she got off that easy from that fall. In the video, she <laughs> goes right into a twerk. First of all, she lands on a different stripper. You got to see it. Strip- we got to watch it. We got to watch it. You should watch it too, John. Okay, I'm done. Oh, my. she started dancing straight away. Yeah, yeah, she didn't, she didn't miss a beat. 
That's like when she Leonardo went, DiCaprio cut herself on Django, bleeding all throughout the scene. What? She got on her head after? Wow. I think to compare it to Leo is completely the right thing to do. <laughs> she is dedicated. That is that, some serious yeah. dedication. That's yeah. a pay rise. So, so wait, so she's getting a fundraiser now or something like that? A GoFundMe. She has a GoFundMe she started for her medical bills and stuff. But she made $32,000. i am not quite sure what they were or what her, her goal was. I think that she um, she made 32000 in 24 hours. And on top of that, she yeah. um, she got verified, too, which, wow. was, which was interesting. <laughs> wow. It was interesting. She got verified. As this if, could be the beginning as of As if somebody huge. else was lying about being her. Wait, I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited about this woman's trajectory. Right? Yeah. Oh, no, gonna... no. <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> She's got a future on her hands. <laughs> oh, my Lord. No, she, she might have a part on Snowfall soon. Stop, stop performing. <laughs> the part, the fact that she fell that far and kept dancing. That's that, crazy. I want to now. I want to see interviews with this lady. I want to know all about this lady. Like, do you? Oh my god. Do you? I don't. I'm not sure. Brooklyn. She, she made so much money in that 24 hour span. She can't go back to work for a little bit. Yo, there's gonna be so many dancers dropping off poles in the next <laughs> trying to go viral. Oh no, that, that, that strip club kind of big actually. Gonna be they like, spend ah. money at that. It's called ecstasy. That, uh, Texas. In Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there before. They, they they make money in that strip club. They have a two-story pole. I feel like it felt like a very... Two stories. It was like a big showman strip Did club. they really say it was two stories? It was all the way up to the ceiling and there was I'm a balcony. I'm just asking you. It was, no, I've been on the second floor. Second floor is a private room. And it was all the way up to the ceiling. So, hey, yo, I mean, she didn't fall down the whole thing, but it looked like about 15 feet at least. Oh, my Lord. No, nah, she hit hard. <laughs> she, no, nah, she hit hard. Wait, wait. Do we have an injuries picture? Or? No, I think she bounced back quick. So, that is so crazy. So her jaw isn't broken. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. But I didn't see anything on her. Yeah, she was speaking. She had a video out. Her jaw didn't break. She, has a video, she said broken is fractured jaw. Fra fractured, fractured. I wonder what her like through the wire is going to be after this big accident. She might. She could record a groundbreaking song. No, this oh is the peak. Lord. This is the peak, Chris. Don't do that. This is the peak. You don't compare her to Kanye West? I said this is the don't peak. Don't do that. I, I had don't people. Do that. I had people, and we don't have to get into this if we want to. Maybe it's just me being high and talking. I had some dude tweet, it's really crazy that you people look up to these rappers, baby mamas. And I just thought that was hilarious. How, uh, how, many, how many people unfollowed you after you said that? I didn't say that. Oh, I had a dude that put that like on my timeline. Oh, because I never thought about it like that. Mm, mm, mm. And then I thought I think about every reality show we have out right now. And I'm like, damn, that really is what people look up to. Crazy. It's apart like, from, hey, apart you, from Love Island, those people are trying to find love. Bro. Love Island is big in the I UK. Don't I don't watch now it. those are good. You role don't models. watch <laughs> Love Island? I watch Love Island. I don't UK. watch it. Right. I, watch I don't it. watch it. But every time I look at Twitter or whatever, however time you know I what's going on. At, yeah. It's yeah. like Someone random will be trending, and I'll be like, "Why is, why is Morgan Freeman trending?" Yeah, and you're, and you're <laughs> I hope UK. he isn't gone. Yeah, and you're in UK. It'll be like Twitter someone too. said his name on Love Island. Yeah, Love Island is wow. so big, so big for you guys. We just got it this past year. Yeah, okay. So we didn't have Love Island at all. Yeah. we just got an American version. Yeah, it's a friend as, of mine was on it. Like on the American on, version? On the the last UK version. Which one was it? Your friend name? Uh, her name is Kaz. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We used to work in the same shoe I shop. I watched the show. That's insane. <laughs> I watched because my ex was from the UK. Okay. So she would tap into it to keep up with what was going on at home, and yeah. I would watch yeah. Love Island, and I was like, this fucking show is interesting. So, okay, so the equivalent out here would be The Bachelor? Maybe. The Bachelor's yeah. insane. No, right no, no, it well, might, that has no, the most it's views, the right? yeah, they, yeah, it's like that popular. No, right. but if you're on Love Island, if you're just a person on Love Island, you're a million followers like that. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Bachelor, about the UK. Bachelor, yeah, Bachelor yeah, in yeah. Paradise, I think. I think those are... Yeah, yeah. I don't watch them. I don't watch Bachelor or Bachelor in Paradise. But people are addicted to it. I don't watch any of those reality shows. Man. Really? Oh, I, need, I, I need some Soldier Boy in my life every once in a while. <laughs> what I'm saying is like, I, Flavor I, of love. as I much as I'm that. a J. Cole and Drake fan, and like I said, Kendrick Lamar fan, and, and whoever yeah. you want to get into, every once in a while, I like to hear some Lil Yachty or some Soldier Boy. It's yeah, just some ig shit. Ignite. What they yeah, call it? So ignite. I, I feel the same about like, if, if I'm going to watch a really good TV show, mm. if I'm watching Watchmen that was fucking impeccable this mm. season. And, or uh, Snowfall, that's or, horrible. Or Snowfall, which is amazing. <laughs> um, and I, then I'm, too, I'm turning the channel and I see some mm. 
Real Housewives of Atlanta, I might just stop, nigga. And I'm wow. like, what? I might My just be like, Let me dive into this. I just think they're hilarious. They're hilarious. They, they, By the way, they, the as a comedy writer, they're hilarious. A regular person watching them, like people that believe that's just real, yeah. blows my fucking mind. That there's a lot of people in the United yeah. States that just like don't think like everything is real. Did you hear what she written. said? No, Deep no, down, she no, said it Chris. Because it was scripted. It's it like, depends on what show you're talking about. I'm okay. talking about The Bachelor as well. Oh, The Bachelor is the fakest thing you could ever watch. Yeah. I was talking about like more like Real Housewives stuff. Like the fighting. They instance. book. No, like, they do, book. Do, do, or do they do many takes of the they, fight? No, or? they book. This, no, they, no, no, they go. This is the scene today. We're going to have a fight. What that's are you talking what about? They fucking what, what, do. You doing Bachelor? I feel like that's what they like do the in real, all these the, shows. The that's real, how they make those the shows. The Real Housewives no. ones. No. 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 Yeah. No, that's not, Chris. I'm telling you. No, it's not. They feed them liquor. <laughs> no, I'm being for real. They those people really do have. The, they pick crazy people. They pick people they know that are. Good. I feel like that's like old school flavor of so love. So Cardi B was was crazy. And old maybe old school <laughs> The Bachelor too. The Real House. No, Cardi B was smart enough to understand. She was a personality, okay. and she knew she's like an actor on the show. She's like playing the game of the show. That's yeah. why I think everything's scripted in a way. So wow. I'm saying some they're of they're like the, improvisers. Some of those shows and some of those people they bring in certain people as actors here and there. It's like. Hey, we're gonna book a Cardi B who really was just big online, oh. and they booked her, and we and she really was trying to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. But it was like, hey, we know you're big online and you're funny. Can you come and do yeah. this love and hip hop show? Yeah, yeah. But there are so many of those other shows where people are really invested, and they just know because they might not be the best people, but they're like, hey. It's easy to manipulate this person. It's easy to get them to drink liquor. It's easy to tell them that this person said this thing about them, even though they didn't hear it. We'll spark this rumor. We'll send this thing to PR, and we'll fucking put it in this. That uh, this person interviewed this person. We'll ha we'll call in Charlemagne beforehand and say, "Hey, can you ask this question?" Not saying Charlemagne. I, I always Charlemagne's my guy. Not saying Charlemagne, but I'm just saying yeah, in yeah. general, people do radio tours. Those the Mona Scotts and those motherfuckers are they're smart. I they're feel like busy. a really great like pullback of the curtain is when Shasha Baron Cohen in his show who is america goes to the lady who is like a big pet character in the bachelorette yeah. make gets her to do a promo yeah to stop ebola oh. <laughs> but it's like he he will go okay cool now and also um wear this hazmat hazmat suit and uh say that you were actually there oh. yeah. helping like and she's just like okay she did yeah. green she just like does it that's exactly like because what that's what they that's what they are they're yeah. they're you're right they're not Influence. all brilliant but, but, for but they're me, like okay but for me that's again that's the high production ones those are the abcs and the cbs's and you watch The Bachelor, and for me, I feel like this feels a little fake, yeah. But for the other shows on, like, cable, no, people just be fighting and shit. People, My mom loves people it. Are My wild, mom just bro. turned 70. Bless her. She turned 70 Maybe. on New Year's Day. She watches real um, Housewives of Atlanta. As she should. All of them. And she's a Nigerian woman. As Came she over should. to, like, England in the 70s. Like still has a strong, thick Nigerian accent. She's like, "Oh my God, can you believe it? Kisha, <laughs> Kisha had a fight with Dominique." I I'm love like, it. I'm like, "What? What? Who?" She loves it. Loves it more than my work. I don't ever like. <laughs> <laughs> a Canadian businessman and failed mayoral candidate was in jail for 30 days after telling a judge he burned one million Canadian dollars in cash in two separate bonfires to avoid paying his wife's spousal and child support as part of their divorce settlement, according to a report it published it to Tuesday. Me. So it's Canadian <laughs> dollars. Yes. So it's how much is that? Eight hundred thousand. Really? It's about seven hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> it's still 000. so much money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> seven hundred fifty thousand. Uh, in an Ottawa Superior Court hearing last week, Bruce McConville, 55, told a judge he withdrew about $1 million Canadian dollars in 25 separate withdrawals from six separate bank accounts. He claimed he then burned the cash in two bonfires, first $743,000 on September 23rd and $296,000 on December 15th. Damn. And he didn't take any pictures? <laughs> right. Let me say know, that. That feels very fake. Yeah, because say, you would got to get pictures of, of that. Of course he didn't burn it. He, he hid that money. Uh, oh, there's no proof that he burned it. There's hey, I don't, no proof. I don't, he, he just said, said he burned it. Yeah, so that's why he don't have to pay his ex wife. He, he has that money. He's definitely got that money. That, well, new I, you, I wish he had money. a great like story and like mm. special effects and shit about how it actually happened. How'd you, how'd you guys feel about that? How'd you guys feel about kind of alimony and everything like that? Because Ooh. I feel like it's, it's definitely influencing young people's choice to get married today. It is. It's definitely Which is a, a huge The shame. fact that, y that you're... <coughs> That if you got a divorce, you'd split your assets. Mm. 
Or are you talking about child support? Mother of my children, you a million percent are getting half of whatever. I don't care, right? And also, when you're the mother of my children, I feel like you were directly influential in my come up anyway, right? Are you saying mother of your children uh, on purpose and not wife? Or or do you mean they're the same thing? I put mother of my children more than wife. Okay. I'm a part of that that kind of mentality. Cool. Because I know... I know people, I can't say people get married because of ulterior, uh, ulterior motives. People definitely have kids because of ulterior motives. But there's just something about, no matter what the situation is, how you have a child, when you look at a newborn baby, the innocence makes it all worth it. No matter who you have it with. Do you what, have children? I don't have children, okay. but I can't wait. I'm an uncle to 15. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because you have a lot of brothers and sisters. Youngest is six. That's us. Awesome. My dad's the youngest of six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's great. It's a special place to be. I don't I don't put mother of my children over my wife only because I believe them to be the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, mm-hmm. I don't want to be a baby daddy. Mm-hmm. I want to just be a husband. And, and, and So why are you a baby daddy? Why aren't you a father? No, I'm just saying I don't want to be a baby daddy. I don't want to mm-hmm. be, I don't want to have a baby with someone that I'm not with. Okay, okay. You don't want to be Cristiano Ronaldo. I hear you. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. diss nobody. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, that, this is my personal You just preference. dissed the, the, the greatest soccer player in the I, world. I would I'm never. Offended. I love Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why would you say that? No, <laughs> no, for me, I just... He doesn't my like preference. Brits. He doesn't think we're black. <laughs> I, I don't want to be with some... I mean, I don't want to have a baby with somebody that, I, that I'm not married to. That's just me. Yeah, yeah. No, That's there's just, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, thing. so... Um, mm. Okay, I but believe alimony. That, I, I believe that when... If we are together, if we are, <laughs> if we're about to get married, right? And I mm-hmm. and I'm worth fifty million dollars mm-hmm. before we get married. So basically, your reality now. Basically. Let me no. Uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm worth fifty million. I'm before. definitely burning at least a million. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm worth fifty million dollars before we get married, and then mm-hmm. we get married, and by the end of my, our marriage, I'm worth a uh, hundred and fifty million dollars. I believe you deserve half of my hundred. So you about to give them? Oh, half of the hundred. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say half of the fifty. No, I think no, mm. no, no. I think my fifty, I earned it on my own before I ever met you. Oh, oh forgive here. me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think yeah. that. So you give it fifty. What? Once I'm saying that I'm building a union with you, and I believe we are mm. one, and that we are one household, mm. and we we basically work as one entity, I think it's only right that I say I re- I honor that. And say, you know what? We built all this other shit together. Yeah. So you know what? You yeah. earn, even though, yeah, you wasn't in the office, <laughs> and yeah, you wasn't on the screen and stuff. <laughs> you did everything else that helped me. Yeah, we're on the same us team. Work. Direct yeah. contribution, man, hundred percent. You've convinced you've convinced me of that. I think that's a cool way to look at it. Of like, you guys, you both built what you built as your own, and then as soon as you're together, mm. now you own half of each other's assets. Okay. But now, bef- but you don't know if yeah. if I marry a woman worth fifty billion dollars, I don't know. Give me that twenty five billion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, no, Christopher, <laughs> she's worth how much? Actually, I'm. Don't put me on the record as saying that. If wow. I wind up marrying that woman, I would. Lo- I think it's we should get. It's only one woman out there assets. worth what fifty billion. Yeah, Jeff Bezos. Jeff is Bezos. Wife, I'm gonna wife, make it yeah. happen. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like if I'm in that situation, I would never take half. No, no, no. Taking something is completely different than what I think you're deserve, like de- deserving mm-hmm. of. Mm-hmm. If my woman tells me, "Hey, babe, I don't even want this," this, this, I might still. I don't think it's gonna be that smooth of a breakup <laughs> if we do it like this. But if, for whatever reason, if she was to be like, you know what, I don't want that. Keep your shit. Mm. Then I probably said to myself, be like, you know what, I ain't gotta hit her with the full fifty. Yeah. But I'm gonna hit her with twenty five just because I don't. I'm not that type of person. You know it's what I'm tricky, saying? man. Because someone, I feel like. I was talking to some older guys about this who have been in this situation and it's like, you know, they, you give them half and then you're not allowed to walk past the gate when you pick your kids up and there's a guy in boxes in the house you bought. But they're complex. just different contracts. It's about you who can negotiate. You want some breakfast? No, no, no. But, but what I'm saying well, that's, is that's yeah. always the situation though. That would never be in a contract about yeah, you being able be to in walk a pre- into now. a house. Yeah, like that, I don't think that would come up in court. I just think it's... It's just how stuff has to be. It's like, I have a new man now. It's been a couple of years, but that guy ends up not being respectful. You're always going to remember that. Damn, wish I didn't give a half. You're always going to think that. No, nah, I would. You wouldn't? I would not mean, nah, it's not even about me that much for me to be like. Damn, I can't wait to make money. Damn. 
No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's it's more about the kids. If there are kids involved for me, it's like it's mm. more about those kids. And like, all right, are you saying that in a kid? In a, you're saying that with a marriage that had a kid that now you're paying half. Yeah, yeah. And then you're not allowed. That would make to- me less bitter than if you're. It's just a marriage. Like mm. it's just your divorce. Oh, it's just a marriage that didn't and work. You never had any kid. Yeah, it's just yeah. marriage that didn't work. And no, when there's a child involved, paying half. There's still a direct communication with that person if the child's under age. Sure. Yeah. And it's it's, the, it's I think it's the hardest thing, it's the hardest situation. To well, it's be. way more of a commitment than getting married. Yeah. Having yeah. a baby with someone is the biggest commitment you can make. Yeah. Because yeah. no matter what, it doesn't fucking matter. At the 18 mark, we are still tied for life. Yeah, we yeah. have a child together. Yeah, marriage. We all in this day and age, mm. people play with marriage like it's. Yeah, I might get married this weekend and see what's up. Guys. <laughs> well, so, how much is this Canadian worth? He has to be worth a lot of money he, if he's uh, burning. How much is this guy worth? Like, oh yeah, is this right? half of his money that he's burning? I think he. Or but, bur- but then I, if it's I, half, I mean, he, he didn't still burn. Have to get but half. it's fun I'm, pretending. I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM it. him. <laughs> <laughs> but even if it was half his money, he would still have to give her his half. The, the judge would be like, all right, he burnt your half. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> a black man in Michigan tried to deposit checks at his bank. The manager called the police. Ironically, the checks that Santore Thomas uh, tried to deposit were from, settlement, uh, were from a settlement from a racial discrimination lawsuit against his former employer. Uh, let's see. Uh, the checks totaling 99... <laughs> <laughs> the checks totaling $99,000 that... Uh, Santor Thomas, 44, sought to deposit at TCF Bank in Liv- Livonia were part of a court settlement from a racial discrimination lawsuit against his former employer. The manager became suspicious. Uh, oh, sorry. As soon as he walked in. He went there, he went there on Tuesday. <laughs> he went there on Tuesday asking the branch manager to open a savings account for him so he could deposit the checks. But the manager became suspicious that the checks were fraudulent and questioned Thomas where he got them. Uh, The manager told Thomas that the checks would need to be verified, but that the computer system that the bank uses to verify checks was not working. In order to complete... How ironic. In order... How convenient. The ice cream machine is down. We don't have any Coca-Cola today, sir. I'm sorry. You need to get Fanta. In order to complete Thomas's transaction, the manager said she would need to go in the back and call in the checks, the suit says. Instead of trying to verify the checks, the suit claims so that the manager... <laughs> Get this. <laughs> she refused to deposit them and then went into the back to call the Livonia police. Four officers arrived at the bank and questioned Thomas about the checks. How are you going to be racist in a town named Livonia? <laughs> Love. Livonia, <laughs> yeah. Oh, shame. <laughs> At what point do you think the this blackest guy, name as soon as town. you realize what's going on, there's like a degree of irony that's so funny that he this must guy have been like, all right, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a professional. It's like a fucking Chris Rock moment. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> this is my thing now. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe <laughs> this is happening again. Yeah. He's just sitting there quietly <laughs> <and> smiling. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Rubbing his hands together. Yeah, I wonder yeah. how much he'll get from the bank. Oh, right? wow. And will he take the check back to the same bank? You ain't trying to get. No, they, do you think they'll fire that guy? The, the, the oh, guy man. The probably. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the, lady. The, so- the lawsuit is happening. They'll hire yeah. a new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but, like, like the part that's so insulting is like $100,000 is $100,000. I bet he will. But that's you. not enough, buddy. Mm. No, that's what threw them off the suit. I bet he will. <laughs> this is Franklin He thought saying. he could, he no, thought no, no, he could no, trick no. us with the suit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, the old suit trick. Huh? <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> that's crazy that a black person has to do that, though. A black person would have to wear a suit in that situation. It's like, oh, I'm going to the bank. I can't just go, like, cash in my like little palm springs <laughs> you get direct deposit uh yeah i don't no i like to see my checks and touch them really yeah and i take them into the bank i actually don't like to see the money i make and then there's a time where i choose when to what look at it maybe like after every month two months and i'm like ah. Oh. Cool. That's, I'm still broke. That's a, no. That's a different level of rich. Oh my god! When you could on. just be like, it's happening. I don't have to look. I know it's happening. Oh, man. It's growing. No, but money. I feel like money really does define us sometimes, man. Like, like just even the way we talk. Like, like we go back to what we were <laughs> talking about earlier. Sweater. The way we, we got- talk. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'm covering it with a Zenya jacket. Yeah, fair enough. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's like what we were talking about earlier, right? About trying to get into that box. And when you're in that box, you're not black anymore to the outside world. Now you're whatever your brand is, right? Mm -hmm. Th that resentment carries over. You're making money, whatever. I was with this guy one time, hilarious. But we were at this party and someone was being rude to him and they were white. And his reaction was in front of them was like, don't talk to me, you peasant. Look, I, I hate peasants. That, it was hilarious. Yeah, but, 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 say, no, but, but, but that, it sounds hilarious. I'm listening to it. But for you to say that to another human being means there's a level of entitlement that you have because of everything you've been through, right? And I feel like when you look at your bank statements constantly, looking at your money constantly, like how much did I make? How much am I sitting on right now? When that guy doesn't let you into the club because he doesn't know who you are, your reaction is way different. No, to when no, you're no. You want that that's person. That's just nope. when you're. That's just who you are. The oh. person that says peasant. Oh, so, so I'm also the. <laughs> <laughs> you were the person. <laughs> I'm the person. Was that I call that bitch a fucking <laughs> peasant. <laughs> no, I'm she was a peasant. No, I'm no. no, it wasn't me. It was my friend. Was no, <laughs> no, because <for laughs> who me, I'm in direct contact with, who I have the same mentality as. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I, I feel playing. the complete opposite. Oh. I feel like if I'm outside the club, yeah. and you're like, you can't get in. Yeah. I just I'm kind of like I wasn't supposed to be here. No. Yes, that's me. I sent you a CNN video. There's a New York Times article this week. There's a New York Times. I listen to this New York Times podcast. They do it every day. I was telling Sterling about it yesterday. Mm. That this week they talked about this new app that was created called Clear Clearview. Clearview. Mm. Um, do you do you want to read the article? Sure. Is it is it like pretty? Does it like looks explain like it can, quickly. I feel like I can get. All right, a cool. Paragraphs. Let's do it. All right. Clearview's facial recognition app is identifying child victims of abuse. Mm. <clears throat> Through a breakthrough. Um, wait. Oh. oh, wait, what? No, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is okay. it. This okay. Is it. Interesting title. This that is their lead. Spins it. This is their lead in. And that then spins they, it. They dive into it. Okay. Whoa. Though a breakthrough for law enforcement, the technique could allow the little known startup to collect an extraordinary sensitive set of data and images. Law enforcement agencies across the United States and Canada are using Clearview AI, a secretive facial recognition startup with a database of 3 billion images, to identify children who are victims of sexual abuse. It's a powerful use case for the company's technology but raises new questions about the tool's accuracy and how the company handles data. Investigators say Clearview's tools allow them to learn the names or locations of minors in exploitative videos and photos who, who otherwise might not have been identified. Oh. In one case in Indiana, detectives ran images of 21 victims of the same offender through Clearview's app and received 14 IDs, according to Charles Cohen, a retired chief of, uh, of the state police. The youngest was 13. All right. Okay. So, and so the video goes the other way, Chris. I'm sorry. I didn't read the actual article. So yeah. I watched the video. So go. You can dive into it the way you want to. Well, the way that they're getting that information, that's very, I think it's so, I think it's interesting that that is an article. That's from New York Times? Wow. The New York Times. That's from the New, okay, the New York Times podcast presents this in a totally different way. Because yeah. yes, we, sure, that's good, but do you know where they're getting those those images from? They're images that were collected off of you, off of Instagram, off of Facebook, off of Twitter. Oh. They've collected three billion images of all yeah. the people. So they're creating this app where they can <coughs> facially recognize people and framing it as a law enforcement app. So in case somebody, some, somebody, committed a murder and there's a video of them you can run them through this facebook track wow. but now but like the fear of that is that that becomes a public thing like google and apple haven't at attacked this technology on purpose because they think it's like a slippery slope mm. because if you create that then like what's next are we gonna have like shazam for people where you can just take a picture of somebody and then go oh now i know everything about them and where they live and <laughs> who they are and who their kids are and what yeah. they make and yeah. you know what I mean? So I just thought it was so interesting. Wow. Just the rabbit hole that that thing It's was. cancel culture, man. It's the time we live in, you know, let me figure out how quickly I can figure out whether you need to be here or not. Well, I think it's, it's scarier than that. I think it's, it's him saying like, Oh, this technology they're using could truly steal your identity in a second. 
versus yeah. like, hey, I have a, like, it's like, oh, I know exactly who you are. I can learn anything I want to about you. I can know your social security number within this time. All but, but why, why are they going to have the social security, though, and where you live and well, your kids and stuff? They won't. At first, but like it the fact that, that they know exactly who it, you are, it, it alters yeah. what privacy is forever. And I mean, granted, it may not be as personal for us because there's a million of images of <laughs> we don't care and we're interested in people looking yeah, at yeah, us. But Tom, Dick, and Harry, it yeah. fucks up privacy for the average yeah. person in a way that has never been before. I don't know. I just think. It's the future, man. So you're not you fucking just with think privacy is gonna go away, and that's oh, the we way sh- it's, it's gone. Like yeah. it, it should have, go- it, not should have. It's been gone. Like if you think about Instagram, right? We'll talk about love. You meet someone, right? You get their number. A lot of people today, and I'm probably gonna say about 80, 70 percent of the population, ask for the Instagram because they know that the first couple pictures they see or videos is gonna let them know exactly who that person is or who they want to be, and that. Means privacy's gone. Same as a, as a, a job interview. The first thing they ask you for is, "Do you have social media?" As wow. Well? Yeah, because they want to know. They want to like know. I watch you. Don't know the instance, truth right? about you. I, I watch you for. I, I've seen the, the couple episodes of the second season. Okay. I remember when he was moving into the house, and the lady said to him, "I noticed you don't have any social media. That's weird. Like it's that's the world we live in now. Well, because it is weird." Privacy. It is no, and, and I'm not. It's nothing it's wrong. Unusual. With, it's unusual. Mm. There's nothing wrong with someone choosing to be yeah. private. My brother doesn't have social media. Yeah, it's and, like well, you don't have any tattoos. Like it's, yeah. like, it's the same. It's saying yeah, people. Thing. Yeah, and but for me, I'm also like man, that's that's dope. But I will say this much: when me and my brother are getting into conversations, I I may use Twitter for news sometimes, yeah, a yeah. lot of times. All the time. And he won't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he won't know what the fuck I'm talking about and what's going on in the news. And I'm like, even if you're not using it to post all day, just having a a social media account is kind of normal. What do you mean is a zombie apocalypse? Yeah, they're outside. Yeah, so you can know what's going on. I have friends who never post, who may go a whole year with between their posts. So that's an invasion of privacy in a way to like, get all the info you possibly can about those people because they signed up for a website for fun. Like, isn't that like fucked up? Is that for overview? For, I'm talking about, yeah, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fact that we uploaded these images. Somebody who values privacy yeah. uploads these images and they're doing it for fun and for friends. And now the government has a database of what you yeah. look like mm-hmm. and anywhere you go, but has, they can take a picture of you, you and tell you where you are. Yeah. Before. I was going to say the same thing. I was going <laughs> to. Oh, they, <laughs> I, I know the government's not organized. The government fucking sucks. They always had that. They, 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 they had that, but they didn't have a piece of technology that did it. Cause I, Google didn't do it. Cause Apple didn't do it. Cause these huge companies didn't cross that ethical line. And this company is going publicly, no publicly, no, publicly yeah, for yeah. sure. No, no offense fair. to anybody, but any person that thought I'm signing up for Instagram, but I want to keep, I want to remain. I'm only going to post pictures of my cat. I remain private. It's like and trees. Shut the fuck up, you liar! You, didn't read the you terms deserve of service. whatever comes to you That's because hilarious. you didn't sign up for Instagram to be private, motherfucker. We all signed up for the same reason: to be public as a motherfucker, yeah. to be out here and see what's to going let on people in the world. know. Hey. I promise I won't kill you. Yes, Instagram is literally, like I always say, it's yeah. one party that we're all invited to, and we're yeah. all enjoying ourselves. We're mm. enjoying our, don't act like you want to come. There are some people who come to parties just in the corner, but at the end of the day, you're still at the party. Like, 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 don't sign up at all. If you truly want privacy, don't sign up for all. It's like the drug dealers that be on Instagram, and they, they don't post, or they post like, nigga, just don't get on Instagram, nigga. Yeah, yeah. If you want to truly stay clean in the streets, yeah. and you be like, oh, well, I, I don't, nigga, no, they don't never see shit in my shoes, fam. Yeah. Hey, nigga, <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, they still on your head. They going to pinch you very quick. <laughs> like, it's just like, don't sign up for Instagram. Like, mm. you want to be private. What do you, what, where'd you see this world in the next uh, 20 years? We won't as make far it as privacy, 2000, goes, it's 2040. We won't make it 20 years now. Oh boy, because of Corona. Times are coming. <laughs> <to> <laughs> so we'll edit that. Corona. Are those guys I off that shit? Oh, it's Corona is there. Yeah. Uh, you, Some uh, people will make it. Like, I thought you said Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that works too. Hey, yeah. that's North <laughs> Korea. Well. North Korea is a that's threat. Also t- hey, I'm, I'm, <laughs> North <laughs> Korea, Corona. I'm here to talk Korea, about Corona. Korea, Corona. That yo. Either way, go. We all going down. The world goes down though. Do you think people are like? We had a good run. <laughs> Do you think like, cause uh, it depends what on else how the come. world goes down. What else is to come? If it's an apocalypse 
and like we can gradually watch the world end. I think we did okay at best. No, we did great. I think we lived to like 70% of our potential. We never cured racism. What is potential, Chris? I think we had a lot of potential and I think we fuck it up all the time. Yeah. Because we don't get along with each other. If everybody got along with each other, imagine what we could have built. How is that even possible? Everyone, everyone because we, never, if we were better, that's why I say we get a C. Yeah, I don't even think that's a real thing. On subways in America, you uh, could. There's New some York. teams that do better. What if everybody did? No, that? no, I'm saying that like, you're like if we get along with each other. Like if you He's, eliminate racism, then there'll just be another problem over here mm-hmm. with people being like. We're the people with the Jordans only. <laughs> and we hate the people who don't wear Jordans. Do so you think I humanity is like a good team? You think they've done overall a pretty good job of being a good team? No, but I'm saying that I think it was team. a setup that we could never have been a good team. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have great players. <laughs> we, we didn't have a great player. It was just like, hey, let's see what happens. Let's put these people. We're not going to tell them what sport they're That's playing at I all. That's what we got to see. Yo, this is a reality, man. I think about this a lot, like, with the world. Would, yeah, what do you think? I went on a date the other day, and this girl said, um, it, she's not from, she's like, hey, did you know that um, California's going to sink? I was like, People well, this is an interesting conversation for a first date. She was like, yeah, like, I feel like out here in LA, there's, like, impending doom. And around, that's why I haven't moved here, because when I'm in London, I don't really feel that. But when I'm in LA, it's like so jolly you and sunny. You guys will sink too, won't you? No, no. It's this, this, this plate, oh, these plates. Like sorry about right, that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but it's, to really think about that, it's interesting. Like, what have we done in life for if it was to all end tomorrow, would we say we were proud of ourselves? The I plane? The airplane? Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> there are a lot of things that I could think about. I'd be we like, we didn't hit teleportation though. I, I, I wish that, we hit teleportation. But like basketball, I like watching basketball. We, we Good la- game. <laughs> we landed on the moon. Land, they say that's allegedly. Cool. Yeah, we, that's allegedly. What they say I don't know. We created wine and weed. We created hey. wine and weed. Oh, well, we didn't create wow. either one of those actually. As I think about it, well, <laughs> humanity sure did. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess weed no, not we. Humanity created wine. Yeah. Okay, you can say that. Uh, grapes. Cheers to that. And the process of making wine from grapes. It didn't just somebody, grow the ground like Somebody me. stepped on some grapes. <laughs> and then was like, I ain't wasting these grapes. Hey, this is fucking me <laughs> up. Low, low <laughs> <key though. laughs> yeah, that's true, though. That's actually how, that's what experts believe. Is really? They, they were, uh, primates were eating the fermented old grapes, and they got drunk off of them. And they were like, oh. So then, oh, of course. And then yeah. they were like, no, no, no. Leave those grapes in the yeah. corner. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ready yet. We're, <laughs> we're waiting. You'll see. It's going to be fun. Damn, no, going to love this. I think there are things we could be <laughs> proud of. I think there, uh, of course, if we were to get a little more serious before we end this thing, um, are there a whole bunch of things to not be, a prou- be be proud of within humanity? Of course. But I think that it's, it's a tough game out there. Yo. I think it's a tough game out there. I, I think that um, this show is something that I truly value and cherish because it is us always, even if we don't agree on anything, uh, we hear each other out and we say, you know what, that's one step uh, closer. You know, so I think with humanity in, in general, wait, wait, that wait, we wait, all wait. are I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, moment of silence. So... Am I black now? No. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it, yeah, you're whatever you want to be, man. You're whatever you want to be. I'm taking but you to London I tomorrow. Saw, I, saw, I love London. I'm going to walk you around I Peckham, Brixton, London. Tottenham. No, please, please, please take me to I'm going to tell them to rob you. <laughs> and that's fine. That's fine. Yo, I just got robbed by some people. With their knives. Officer, I just got robbed by some people. With what knives. do they look like? They were... um. <laughs> Black. British. <laughs> yeah, they were black. They were black. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and then it's like an epiphany. Oh, uh, 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 we know you're like black people. <laughs> Rob. Wow, they do have black people here. <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be good. I they, got you. They were black. I think we'll do Vegas first. Yeah, we'll do Vegas. My You've never first done Vegas. It. Trip. Yeah, let's take you to Vegas. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying humanity isn't good. I'm mm. just saying that I think there's room for improvement. 100%. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> but we so should embrace we get the good. A C, maybe, yeah. maybe a C plus. Yeah. I'll give it a B minus. But do you I think, think we'll ever get a B? Yeah. No, 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 no. Because the moment that we get over one thing, there'll be another thing. I think we're we'll... slowly climbing though. Okay, okay. Liberals we, are getting pretty. We annoying. cure racism. No, no. Hypothetically speaking, <laughs> yeah. right? We cure racism. Right, You're it's done. Racism C done. Plus. It's done. It's, it's How completely is it done? done. Is it? Com- I come over to his house and his 
his parents love me. Okay. Like, oh, <laughs> damn, son. Wow. Okay. Okay. Right? okay. All right. All right. Cool. All right. That's done. What what really is there to cure next? Okay, I got you. Like, so did we did we cure racism? They, oh, the whole did religion they, did, thing. Did they pay reparations, wow. or have white people just start be, stop do you, believing do you want that's that? superior? Do you want that reparations? Uh, well, it, with inflation, they owe us far more than the forty acres and the mule. Now. He already has a mm. problem with it. Yeah. You, well, we're trying to cure it, and then, we got and then white people are like, just like how, it, and then it starts all exactly. over. Exactly. How, how, yeah. how much was this chair? <laughs> no, 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 okay, cool. All right, so reparations, everything. Everything we wanted is okay, done. Cool. Racism's gone. All right, it. now we tackle uh, um, animal rights. Now we tackle climate change. Climate and like, change. And like not being idiots about how the we ice isn't the melting world. anymore. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't eat improve. meat anymore. We're all vegans. All right, all that is done. Yep. What else is there? There's going to be a whole bunch of other shit. Technology will continue. Yeah. We'll have I mean, new problems in technology. We have people take sides and say, this is too far with technology. Mm. This is not, I'm over here. I'm more of a minimalist. Mm. And Hunger, I like, income equality, fuck it. Like all that shit is already solved. Just like personal when people shit. aren't homeless anymore. Racism. Racism. This guy called homeless. Me ugly. I, I, I put racism up there because I feel like when racism's done, it tri it hits into everything. It's like, yeah, but you, there's still going to be a homeless and there's going to be inequality even if racism is done. Well, you walk down Skid Row, 8% of those people are black. So UN that, racism, it feels is into that it's there's like, still gonna be like the lower class i feel like inherently class is oh class has been there from the beginning of time that's something that would that's never, a hard that would be like an a plot that would be like an a Communism. and we can't even get there yeah and and in order in order for um for everyone to reach equality financially uh, people like stilo would have to come down to my level and i don't think he wants to do that first of all <laughs> first of all you're far richer than me <laughs> Second of all, if I had to come down to your level, hypothetically, I'm on a higher level, right? If I had to come down to your level, I feel like it's probably one level down. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'll sacrifice. Um, no, I think about that all the time. When people say taxes and it is, and you want to vote for this person for this, I'm mm -hmm. like, yo. I don't care fam, about If that. nothing yeah, else, yeah. I have to still look at my community and say, yeah. okay, my community is still going through this. If I'm doing great, great. But it's not about me. Yeah. The, 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 none of these struggles are about us. It's for the next generation. Of course. So yeah. I don't. Number one, I don't think we'll solve any of the shit. Um, I think. <laughs> I think C plus though is a racism pretty good though? grade. Yeah. It's passing. C yeah. plus. You think a C? You think you have a C plus with racism, Chris? So that no, C plus are? is if we get rid of racism. It's a oh, C. So wow. Right now, C where right are we at? We're a D. We're, we're at a like D minus. A C. Oh. We used to be worse at everything, so you got to remember that. Like we're, we, not, we're great on a curve, though. We've all, we've all evolved. So. <laughs> we uh, I, that that might be true too. What if we figure out? What if we learn more about the universe and we are like one of like fifty-five Earths, and we're like that the, will change. And we're like everything. The fourth dumbest. We're like the Alabama of Earth. <laughs> if people like, like just laugh at us. Sorry, Alabama. Yeah, no, it's just education-wise. <laughs> like. But that's I true, though. I can see that being the case. Aliens come. Do you think there's still racism if aliens come? Like, yo, 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 we, we always knew you guys existed. By the way, that guy over there is black. Treat him worse than me. Do you think that's going to happen? I believe that if aliens I don't know come, why I made the human being American. I feel like the American <laughs> is the only the first person that's going to meet the aliens. aliens. I can trust you with this information. No one will believe you. <laughs> I feel like if aliens come, there's a chance that we band together better. Because yeah. now we are earth versus something instead of being like we're so now we're other. now we're racist I to think aliens, the aliens we get here. <laughs> yeah exactly no I think we use our barbarianism to fuck fight them aliens, aliens they're all gray i, I like, hate great people like the aliens would get here and they would pick a side and we have black aliens and we have, <laughs> and we have white aliens. Yo, the black aliens would be They'd cool. They'd be cool as shit, wouldn't they? He's like, hey, fam, you out of this world with that shit, boy. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> Got a new soul, oh. Roddy Rich. <laughs> the black aliens. Oh, yeah, no, I, we yeah. have a long way to go. <laughs> We're lit. We We're have lit. a long way to go. We've come but a long way. But would you consider them black, Sterling? The aliens? Yeah. Are they from the UK? <laughs> 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 you seen this right now? <laughs> <laughs> the UK aliens <laughs> No oh <my> Lord. <laughs> Thanks for watching Why and Weed We'll see you next week With a special live show From Chicago Yeah Ooh. we going up um, Zip it Oh, First of all Thank you to yes. our guest Damson Edges We appreciate you You've been amazing I know the wine has been great um, 
We appreciate you. Uh, we love Snowfall season four coming soon. You're rich as fuck. Uh, you really are. And we thank you. We thank you again. And uh, we appreciate you. And keep doing your thing out there. I always see you in these streets. You guys got hella girls on you. And stuff. Wow. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That is a complete lie. I'm joking. I don't get anywhere. Well, just you don't masturbate, you got to, you know. What are you, you doing? Get it out somehow. <laughs> no, man. Thank you so much for being on the show. Until next week, uh, zip it up and zip it out. Zip it out. Take care. Thanks, dude.